What's up guys? Anthony, come back at you another know, video. Guys, got a little bit of mail today and a little bit of PC talk. Uh, just wanted to get this video out of the way before semester starts. Um, because this semester, I have a lot of mail coming in still, but I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to make another video. Because semester starting and it's going to be a very busy semester for me. Not only is it an important semester, I'm also working and I got spring soccer. Um, so it's going to be very busy. So I don't know when the next chance I'm going to make a video, so I'm going to make a video now. Um, before I get to the mail, oh, by the way, rocking my uh, Jared Sollinger jersey. Uh, finally getting out of that slump and going to the, uh, I'm going to the Celtics Hornets game tonight. So looking forward to that. Celtics jersey, UConn hat for Kemba. So, I'm going to pile mail, but first I'm going to address uh, a little something that was I was going to address a while ago, but then decided not to. I actually made a video and rambled on for about 45 minutes, so I decided not to upload it. But um, the whole flawless issue thing that went on uh, has got me just kind of reassessing my collection, per se, and uh, I'm taking a whole new direction of uh, me collecting cards and all that good stuff just because what I had a lot of it I was no longer finding interesting collecting it so what my new focus is gonna be is I already sold off a lot a ton of stuff like all my mid to low and jerseys and autographs that's pretty much all gone my mate my focus is gonna be um, mid to high end on card autographs and short print inserts um, when it comes to my player but when it comes to my team PCs player PCs such as Blake Bortles, Kemba Walker, well, UConn specifically, Kemba Walker, um, Jared Sollinger, my player PCs, I'm still going to pick up anything and everything of those players um, that is untouched because I enjoy picking stuff up of those players. That's why I have player PCs of them. No matter what it is, I'm still going to enjoy picking it up of them. I'm still going to get it. Um, but as for my team PCs, I no longer really find the enjoyment in buying low-end crap that's just going to, you know, I want to... I want to buy a card. I'd rather save up for one nice card than buy ten two three dollar autographs, if you know what I mean. So I sold off a lot of my low end. Um, I'll still be getting patches. It just really depends. Um, like older patches from Upper Deck, where they have the the ironclad COA on the back, where it says this patch was worn by restating the player's name in an actual NFL game. So where. But whereas today you see like, oh, hey, this is material. A blind person could guarantee that it's material. <laughs> that's a hate to say it, but so that's where I'm going to be heading the direction. So team PCs, uh, other than Arsenal, because Arsenal stuff is so hard to come by already. Anything Arsenal I'll get. But say for like my Patriots PC, my Yankee PC, my Bruins PC, my Celtics PC, it's going to be focused on higher end items and short print inserts and when I say higher mostly on card autographs some stickers depending on what the card is if I really like the card and patches really depending on the patch like Immaculate's coming out product looks amazing um, a lot of stuff I'm going to be wanting from it um, but currently projects that I'm working on I'm focusing on my player PCs right now and 2014 Topps Chrome um, I'm going to be doing all the rainbows of all the Patriots, Storm Johnson, and Blake Portals, the two UCF uh, alumni. Um, so trying to do all the rainbows. So that's going to be a, a long and probably expensive project. Um, I'm not going to reveal what I have coming in. I'll show off what I have so far, but the rest of it I'll wait to a uh, next video. So, enough rambling. That's what's going to be going down for my PC. i got a stack of mail, so I'll go right through... All this mail. So starting off with the Jared Sellinger uh, pickups, only got one uh, from National Treasures, number 75, the game day jersey autograph. Nice. It is windy as fuck outside. It was nice yesterday. Like Connecticut weather has been so strange this winter. Like we get like our first snow yesterday. Oh, excuse me, two days ago we had our first snowfall. Yes, uh, two days ago. And then it jacked up to 55, depending where you were in the state, it was as high as 60 degrees yesterday. So whatever snow was on my ground, I probably had about an inch, not very much, but it's already all gone. I had like a day of it. I'm happy. I fucking hate the snow. I hate cold weather. But now it's back to like 20 degrees today. So anyways, Jared Sollinger, 
<laughs> one pickup. Uh, next up, uh, Kemba Walker pickups. I would mentioned in my last video where uh, Josh sent me that uh, immaculate patch uh, that I thought it was kind of funny and ironic. That's actually because I'm trying to get as much stuff from this year's immaculate as possible, and I didn't pick that one up yet. Um, product looks amazing. Hopefully, can do the same with football. Um, so, to have two other pickups. These are really hard to come by, and when they do, they usually fetch a good penny. I know a lot of people that are putting this set together, so very happy to have it. Number to 15, the acetate patch with a gorgeous three color. One, two, three, four, five, five break. Yeah. Number to 15, Kemba Walker, sweet card. And then I also picked up the numbers patch out of nine. And then Josh sent me the letters patch out of four. So that's awesome. Uh, next up, got a one Bruins pickup. Really, really happy to pick this up. Uh, Nick Yankee Fan 95 had this at the show, and I just absolutely had to have it. Um, he is my favorite player, and don't come by his stuff very often. From Ultimate Collection, number 25, a gorgeous jumbo patch, David Krejci. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Upper deck. Gotta love it. Uh, next up, oh, back on to the whole Patriots PCs. Um, as you formerly knew that I was, I basically picked a player to collect every single year. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm just going to be picking one player of all the Patriots players and just collecting that one player. Um, I still get high-end stuff of the other players. I narrowed it down between Shane Vereen and Chandler Jones, and I went with Chandler Jones because the fact that his stuff is so scarce already because he's a defensive player. Stuff, he has less stuff to begin with, and Shane Vereen has so much stuff. So I went with um, Chandler Jones, but I did keep uh, a couple of Vereens, uh, including this pickup right here uh, from National Treasures, number 299, the RPA. So like I said, the amount of stuff that's going to be in my mail is going to be less, but the quality is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, next up, a card that has eluded me for a long time. Uh, from 2008 Exquisite. I hope I hope to get the other variations because he's in with a couple different players. Um, this is the variation. Got a one color, just a two color, and just a two color of Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, and Tom Brady. So the Manning, as you can tell right there, is a two color right on the edge of the M. And Brady's a two color down there. And Manning is a one color number 25 from Exquisite. I got this for a great price in my opinion. Seeing what they have fetched for in the past. Uh, next up, another card that has seemed to dodge me. Uh, this was his first rookie card, and they sell pretty well, I'd have to say. It's a really nice card, high-end product. Number to 175, the rookie card, uh, Blake Bortles from Quantum. So happy to finally have that one. And then uh, from Rookies and Stars, uh, the Longevity Autograph. So nice. And then lastly, we saved the rainbows. What up, Eric? Hope you're watching. Congratulations uh, to you and your newly announced engagement. Congratulations. Um, I know I texted you, but I know you just, my dogs are barking. Um, so um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, I'm going to be doing all the 2014 rainbows of all the Patriots. Probably put, going to push off Jimmy G till like the summer. Just because his stuff is really expensive, uh, I think it'll go down once off season hits. Um, maybe go after like the gold and the red now, just because they're scarce. Probably maybe just the red. Um, but I got stuff so far, not very much, but do have a couple um, for the rainbows. One for the Storm Johnson. Got the refractor. Uh, very nice for the Bortles. I managed to pick up the sepia for. A joke of a price, if I might say so. They they've been selling right around thirty bucks, um, and I picked it up for seven fifty. So I'm not I'm not complaining, but awesome. Uh, next up, Rob Gronkowski, the refractor. I got a lot coming in. I like I just said, I just don't know. When I'm gonna have the chance to make another video, and I have like n all the stuff was bought within like the last two days. I went on like a buying binge these last two days. Um, so probably won't, the stuff won't be in here for at least a week. So like I said, and I probably won't be here in a week. So it's just going to sit for a while. Um, 
Continue on the Grykowski rainbow. Managed to pick up the gold. Got that for a great price from a member on the forums. Number 50. And then one for the Re Revis rainbow. The red. Number to 25. Logic with this one. I was watching the gold and the red. And the red sold like less than 24 hours after the gold. I lost out on the gold. I put in a $15 bid and it wasn't enough to win it. And I won the red for $5.24. Logic. <laughs> but nice to get that one out of the way. So it's my rainbow, rainbow progress. Still have, I think I have like 16 more of the cards. There's a lot of cards because there's seven players that I'm going after. And then each card has so many fucking variations this year. That's, I like Chrome, I do really like this year's Chrome, how they changed it up. It's no longer just your typical square border and it doesn't continue out. I, I really like that new design for Chrome. Gives it just something different. I like it a lot. But the reason why it's so cheap now is because there's so many fucking like unnumbered variations. Like Pulsar is now unnumbered. Purple is now unnumbered. They added green. There's so many fucking goddamn cards in a rainbow a lot of cards to go after so guys that's my mail gotta head to boston soon thanks for watching